The Pony Dead, written by Duhad, read by a full cast. Chapter 1, The Cabin. Bon Bon sighed as she carefully stepped over a large tree root and frowned at the jade unicorn who had insisted on dragging her out into the middle of nowhere. Myra, how much further till we get to this place? We should be almost there now. Just hold out a little bit longer, okay? To Bon Bon's annoyance, Lyra had not even broken a sweat over the last four hours of hiking. If she had been in a better mood, she might have been proud of how thoroughly Lyra had followed the exercise regime she had pestered her to take up. But here and now, in the woods, she felt it rather hard to feel much more than a mild contempt for her fit friend. Looking back, the earth pony took solace in knowing that, at the very least, she was not alone in her suffering. While Carrot Top was holding up all right, Derpy had given up on flying, and Colgate seemed about ready to collapse. Bon Bon had just decided to call for a break, under the pretense of being concerned for Colgate when Lyra pointed up ahead excitedly, There it is. We're here! And with that, she rushed ahead toward an opening in the thick woods. Bon Bon ran after her. But as she came into sight of their destination, she felt her jaw slacken and her gait slow to a walk. When Lyra had told her friends that she had gotten permission from an old university professor to use his summer home for a vacation spot, she imagined a pleasant house in the woods. While the long trip had lowered her expectations of their destination, she had never thought that the summer home would be a tiny, run-down-looking cabin. Oh my! Carrot Top murmured as she trotted up to join Bon Bon. This is... uh... Well, fantastic, Lyra said, turning to face the other mares, beaming from ear to ear. Can you believe Professor Orange will let us stay here for free? Derpy looked up, frowning. Yes? No! The others all turned to see Colgate, who had just staggered into the clearing, looking equal parts exhausted and horrified. No, we did not just come all the way out here for this! Bon Bon gritted her teeth and glared at the blue unicorn. She did not know Colgate very well, except that she and Lyra had been friends at school and had recently reconnected in Cantalot for the royal wedding. Lyra had insisted on bringing her along, saying that Bon Bon would absolutely love her. It had taken less than a day with the mayor for Bon Bon to begin to wonder if that had been a secret insult to her or her taste in friends. Oh, come on, Colgate. We have this whole place to ourselves for a week. Lyra spun and raced towards the cabin. Oh, come on, Colgate. We have this whole place to ourselves for a week. Colgate flopped to the ground with a whimper as Bon Bon snorted. Come on, girls. Let's drop off our packs inside, she said, leading Carrot Top and Derpy after the mint green unicorn. Lyra's horn shimmered as she ran a telekinetic field across the top of the doorframe. After a moment of concentration, she grinned and pulled a set of slightly rusted keys down from their hiding place. There we go, Lyra said, deftly flipping the correct key from the set and using it to unlock the door. Second oldest hiding spot in the book. Derpy giggled, but Bon Bon just rolled her eyes. Lyra pushed the door open, and immediately Bon Bon heart sank. While the outside of the cabin was decrepit, the inside was decrepit with an extra helping of creepy. Dust lay in a thin blanket across the wine-red furniture. Beams of dim light revealed a kitchen space next to the main room, where a neat stack of decorative plates sat as if abandoned midway on the journey to or from the cabinet. Across the main room was a door hanging ajar. Shelves of books leaned against the walls, the reading bench sitting before a fireplace with a blackened hearth. Oh. Carrot Top managed as she peered past Bon Bon. Bon Bon turned to Lyra, a scathing comment already forming on her lips, when she realized that her friend was standing stock still in the doorway, trembling. Bon Bon felt her irritation drain away as she remembered that Lyra had been honestly excited about this trip. Any disappointment she felt about the state of the cabin must have been much worse for her friend. She laid a hoof on the unicorn's back. Lyra? I didn't think... He didn't tell me that... Lyra quavered. It's all right, dear. Bon Bon said, rubbing Lyra's back. Carrot Top and Derby both moved back to give them room. I know you didn't know. Lyra looked back at Bon Bon. Tears brimming and face beaming. It's not just all right. She choked out. He never told me he kept a private library out here. Lyra suddenly lunged forward, laughing as she hugged Bon Bon tightly before making a beeline for the books. Carrot Top and Derpy quickly slipped past Bon Bon, ignoring the sound of grinding teeth. They knew her well enough to know when to give her some space. Unfortunately, the saying was not true for Colgate, who had just decided to rejoin them. Wow, Lyra, this place is a dump! The blue unicorn whistled. No one asked for your opinion on it! 
Bon Bon bellowed. Colgate, startled, scrambled trembling backward down the porch steps. There was a long moment of silence as every pony stared at Bon Bon, broken only by the whimpering of Colgate, who had not moved from where she had fallen. Bon Bon spun on and stormed across the maid room, pushing through the chemist's only other door. Beyond or the short hallway, flanked on either side by a second pair of doors, with a third, much more sturdy-looking one at the end, which Bonbon bon suspected led outside. Bonbon bon pushed through the right side door and found herself in a small bedroom. The room was no more inviting than the rest of the cabin, but it did have the advantage of not having a crowd of shocked ponies staring at her. With a practiced flick, she shook out the blanket, sending a clot of dust into the air. Before it had even begun to settle, the earth pony dove beneath the blanket. Bonbon? Bon? Go away, Lyra. Bonbon bon grumbled from beneath the blanket. To her annoyance, the sound of the door closing was followed by the sound of approaching hoofsteps. Go away, Lyra. She repeated louder, while remaining firmly under the blanket. She felt the bed sag slightly as a familiar weight settled down beside her. A hoof rested on her back and began to massage the slow circles as she let out an expirated sigh and moved in closer. What's the matter, Bon? Lyra's voice was soothing. But Bonbon bon could hear the tenseness in the question. It's nothing. Bonbon bon lied, before thinking better of it. No, it's not nothing. It's this whole trip. She stuck her head out of the blankets and glared at Lyra. You invite me on this wonderful trip out to the woods, and then you went and invited her along. Lyra recoiled. You invited Carrot Top and Derpy. So why is it suddenly a problem when I want to spend some time with one of my friends? Because Carrot Top and Derpy are not my friends. They are our friends, and I didn't invite them to come along until after I found out that you had decided to bring some unicorn who I barely knew. Heck, you only just started seeing her again when you were off alone at Camelot for that wedding. Lyra's face blanched at the implication. You're, you're kidding. Lyra stopped rubbing Bon Bon's back and fixed the mare with a glare of her own. That's what this is about? You, you think I like her? That I invited both of you out to the middle of the woods because I wanted to cheat on you with a school friend who I've barely had a chance to see in years. Lyra's voice rose in volume. Bon Bon, the invitation was for just me and Colgate to come up here. I, I didn't invite Colgate because I didn't want to spend time alone with you. I invited you because I didn't want to take a vacation without you. Tears began to run down Lyra's face as she took a steady in breath. <sighs> bon Bon sighed and pulled the unicorn down onto the bed with a hug. It's all right, Lyra. I know. Lyra embraced her back, burying her tear-streaked face in Bon Bon's shoulder, and avoiding jarring her mare friend with her horn. I just wanted you to like her, because, look, I never get to see my old friends, and when I do, I have to go all the way to Canterlot without you. I, I just, I just, I really wanted this to go well, so we could do things like this more often, but now you just think that, I, that I... Lyra's voice was choked off by sobs. Bon Bon rolled her eyes as she held Lyra. She hadn't seriously believed that Lyra had it in her to actually go through with cheating on any pony, but she had wanted to sting her mare friend at least a little for bringing her along that annoying unicorn and dragging them all off to the celestial forsaken cabin. Still, she hadn't expected that Lyra would be quite so on edge. She was generally emotional and more than a little excitable, but it was obvious that Lyra had been far more invested in this trip's success than she had let on. After a while, Lyra stopped crying, but the two stayed together in silence on the bed. Finally, Bamba nuzzled the top of Lyra's head and whispered, We should go talk to the others. I guess I need to apologize to Colgate. Lyra remembered something that sounded like thank you into Bon Bon's shoulder. The two untangled themselves and took a moment to straighten their appearances before leaving the room together. That sun had almost set by the time they had returned, but as the world outside had dimmed, the cabin had come to life. A merrily burning fire illuminated the room, and the smell of tea and vegetables masked the smells of dust and age that permeated the cabin. Carrot Top was preparing meals as Derpy tidied the room, lighting a few candles to help brighten the room further. Colgate was sitting on the bench, reading in front of the fireplace. Bon Bon winced as she noticed that the unicorn's leg was slightly swollen, and that she had a few bandages on her back. Hey, girls, Lyra said, somewhat lamely. Some um, what's for dinner? Derpy jumped a little, upsetting the candle. Carrot Top masked her own surprise with a smile as she said, Oh, good! Dinner is almost ready! Colgate looked up from her book, but quickly looked back to it as she caught Bon Bon's eye. Bon Bon felt her heart sink a little at the look of fear on the unicorn's face. Lyra was going to be disappointed. 
The Pony Dead stars Sage Fire as Lyra, Razzie as Bon Bon, Non Avalis as Colgate, Tenma Ranger as Carrot Top, Chickadee as Derpy, and DJ Jack as the narrator, with music by Kevin McLeod. It is directed and edited by the author. <laughs>